So hello and welcome to another episode of Inspired Good Fat Life. And I am so excited today um, about our guest and our conversation around Bowen work and the um, way that you can use it uh, to facilitate self-care, your self-care and self-care of others. And my guest today is Gisla Bosch. And Gisela, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jerry. So, thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to hear about this because I don't know much about bow and work, and I know it's a big passion of yours, and um, it's something you've been doing. You're coming up. This is your tenth year anniversary. Yep. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you found it and what what uh, inspired you to learn more? I was actually introduced to Bowen work by Dina Bowen, who was a practitioner in the area, and her last name is... Just a coincidence, just right? Just a coincidence, right. but I, I always thought that was really cool. And a typical question, I said, what is it? And she said, you know, it's kind of hard to explain. Why don't I just do a session in you and Walter? I can work on you simultaneously. And I said yes, and... I went, and Walter said, yeah, I I didn't really feel anything, but I think it was because he was not relaxed. And that's your husband, right? That's my husband. And for me, it was, um, I could feel things happening in the second half of the session. My body was shifting, and um, I felt very relaxed, and some of my back pain was better when I got off the table. And so that was my first introduction. Then I would have Bowen work session, and I actually had a problem with my upper back. It had been rounding, and that caused the lower back pain. And okay. other modalities would bring me short-term relief, but it wouldn't change that rounding and once I started with Bowen work regularly I became naturally upright again where I don't have to think about it and my low back is much more stable because of that. Do, and is that how people traditionally come to Bowen work get to know it is because they have a physical issue that um, they're wanting to address? That's um, that's uh, A lot of my clients come, you know, pain is a great motivator, right? Right, (laughs) right. (laughs) So a lot of my clients come because of an issue. But I also have clients who say, oh, this is just my most relaxing hour of the week, you know. And, And that in itself, of course, is very healing, especially for us in our stress field. Built world. Or crazy right. intense, yeah. yeah. Right, it just calms your nervous system. Yes, and yes, it takes you from the fight and flight to rest and relaxation, and that's also where healing happens in the body. It's where your gut starts working. It's where your heart can de-stress and calm down, you know. So um, there are certainly those facets always. You learned about it from Dina. But what motivated you to learn more? Well, I just figured uh, my husband is very, very active. He uh, still plays soccer. He was very much into soccer then. He's biking, you know, always very active. I could see that there were maybe some things happening that in the future would restrict movement for him. And so... I felt that Bowen work would be very helpful for that. And and that's uh, for, for you to just help him through potential injuries, issues that right. he might have. And right? that, was, that was my okay. very first intention is just to take care of family and maybe some friends. Okay. That's why I took that very first class pretty much 10 years ago this January. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Yeah, so. that's so cool. But it was it was just to pr- provide self-care for your and healing for your family. Right. Family and some friends. Okay. Right. All right, so then what happened? 
Then what happened? So then I took module one and two, which are the first two basic modules where you learn uh, basic moves and shoulder and hamstring. And I practiced on some people. And even though I was a ranked beginner, um, people had results. I felt so felt better, felt really relaxed. And to me, that's actually one of the great things about Bowen work. It's small moves in very precise locations that we teach. And so you don't have to guess, where do I do this? We tell you exactly. It's one finger width above this point, one of the client's finger width above this point. So it's very teachable. Okay. So you can give somebody a tool that they can be confident in using. Okay. And so then kind of one thing led to the next. You yes. just then got more training. And <laughs> yeah. um, and so now you teach? Yes. You teach. and so, Okay. So yeah. tell me about that. So now I teach those first six levels and then six modules, I should say. And then module seven is the testing module that a senior instructor comes and tests the students, and actually it's also a test for how is my teaching. Okay. You know, is there something that maybe I have the wrong idea about? I really enjoy seeing people getting the moves and experiencing, oh, I did this, and he or she is feeling better. You know, getting more confident in, in what they're they're doing. The other thing that's great with Bowen is every module you do, you review what you did before. So, so, so you're building on it. You're building, you're building on, on it. it. And so I also think that makes it very learnable. I got it. So, and you had said that you don't need any kind of a medical background or prereqs to get to, to, to take the courses. Right. So you start... You can start out without any prerequisites. Eventually, you'll have to take some anatomy. You'll get CPR. There are some other classes that help you be successful with a business, if that's the way you want to go. Okay. Um, And then I never considered myself done after those first seven because there's always more to learn and fine-tune and i guess that's true of anything right that's true of anything right because we're changing so what are some of the stories that um where you've seen bowen work really um, make a difference in people's lives in your own practice in my own practice i've seen people with migraines but Again, migraines is a big, big thing. Can I say, I work on you, Sherry, and it's going to be gone? No, let's find a reason. So I think whole body. Okay. Um, one I common, love that. Yeah, yeah. One comment of a uh, long-time migraine sufferer was, she said, in everything I've done before, they've always worked on my neck, but you actually almost work more on the rest of my body and yet it's helping me more. Mm. So to me, it's, it's about total body you. you okay. Know. Okay. So a holistic view, right? Yeah. So, which makes a ton of sense. Makes a ton of sense. Right. Yeah. Our body is right. actually so laid out to repair itself. And that's probably also one of the big differences. So in a lot of modalities, the change comes from the practitioner. With Bowen work, we're actually using the feedback that the body has in the fascia and on the muscles to the brain about the position. We basically challenge that a little bit and there is a response going up to the brain that says, hey, this is where I'm at. And the body says, hmm, you're not quite in the right place. So the change comes not from us, not by me 
moving that muscle into a different place. And that is a, a big, big difference. So really using the self-healing pathways in the body to help the body. Heal. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. So if somebody comes to you like with back pain or like with migraines, do the sessions, I guess, help me, help me out here, Gisela. Sessions. Yeah. Yes. The, the <laughs> sessions, um, do, do you have to have multiple sessions? Do you find the root cause of the issue? Um, and then the issue goes away or is it kind of an ongoing, an, an ongoing process? How does mm-hmm. that work? What do you so, see? Well, that, that really depends on on what what happened, how long has it been there, all that kind kind of stuff. But in general, I w- I would say don't expect one touch and poof, magic, everything's gone. Right? We're right. we're a- adjusting back, uh, especially if you've had an injury for a longer time. Um, then you protect that injury. Mm. And That's interesting. that, you know, almost creates sometimes more problems than the original injury is that, okay, my left knee hurts, so I'm going to be walking more or differently with my right foot, my right leg, and let it take more of the responsibility, so to speak. And then you're shifting, right? Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, so sometimes that is it. So if people have intense thing, then it will take some time. But my goal is also for people to go long term. And I think of it as graduating or going on okay. a <laughs> right. maintenance schedule. You know where we we kind of do sessions as they need, and and we get there. Okay. Um, it's very individual. Sure. Like all self-care. Right. So, and you had mentioned that um, you like to see people take care of themselves so that they can take care of others. So what does that look like for you? I started um, the Bowen work classes to help my family, but I can also do some of the moves on myself. Okay. Meanwhile, though, I have done the really smart thing, and my <laughs> hus- <laughs> husband has taken the modules. He didn't. He's not interested in working it. He's just, you know, yeah. he, he knows how to do it now. And so I now have somebody in house that can also work on me, which is great. <laughs> That's good. That's lovely. One of the things that when my husband and I got married, I said, you know, we promised to grow older together, mm-hmm. right? And um, now it's been, you know, a lot of years, decades, and and I, I don't say we're growing old. I say we, we're growing older together. And I love that. I mean, any any way that you can sh- you can support each other, right? Right? It's just a, such a wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. And whether is, that's going for a walk together, you know, right. motivating the other person, right. or or uh, yeah, learning learning some work that can be beneficial. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. My husband recently renewed our vows last year, and it wasn't like our original vows, but it was um, how we want to live forward. And he cool. agreed to eat vegetables <laughs> so, because. <laughs> He doesn't like vegetables, but he's like, I'll eat vegetables so I can see, you know, the grandkids graduate. But it was, it is just cute. I, I love that as a, as a way to self-care for your family and for t- together right. as a couple. Yeah. Um, right. Because there are issues of, of getting older that just change your life. Yeah. Or you have kids in sports. Right. Um, I, I have... One mom who took the very basic four-hour class, and every time she sees her son who plays soccer in college, she says, hey, mom, can you do the knee moves? <laughs> right, yeah. You know, a simple thing, but uh, valuable to them. Right. Yeah, you can, my youngest client 
was two weeks old. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> and then I've seen people in their 90s, you know, so there's that whole, whole span. The whole span. And I love that you, uh, my, I wish I would have known about this when my kids were young, mm-hmm. right? It's like, what a gift to have that additional, um, I don't know, tool, if you will, right. or to support them. Yeah. As they're growing out. That is amazing. Well, so if somebody wants to find you, I wanted to work with you, how would they find you? My company name is Internal Balance, and you can find me at the three W's, myinternalbalance.com. Okay. Yeah, my contact info is on there. I'm also a member of the chamber here in Brighton. Okay. So. All right. Well, and we'll put that all in the show notes. But also a very exciting thing for us at Good Fat Life yes. is that you are going to be um, part of our workshop that's coming up. Now I just totally blanked on the name <laughs> of it. Um, anyway, it's February 10th and you can find out about it on our website at goodfatlife.com. But so talk about that. What is what is it our guests will be experiencing? I will demonstrate. Um, and for people also to to learn to do chest procedure on themselves, which helps with the lymph drainage. Okay, and which chest, is huge. Which, yeah, yeah, I think that is a um, big issue, especially as we are um, not moving as much. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Then, especially in the chest area also, it can also help some people um, with shoulder issues if it's the right kind of shoulder issue, so to speak, for that procedure. Okay. All right. Well, I'm so excited to um, to just learn more about this and ha- add another tool to kind of my self-care toolbox. Yep. As people are listening, is there anything that you can suggest where – Oh, I like to say if somebody if somebody says you know I want to feel better, um, wh- where would you just suggest that they start? I don't know if there's anything new under the sun, but when I was learning uh, more about fascia, the connective tissue in the body, one thing that became very clear to me is that recommendation of drinking more water and moving. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's. It's just very important, and I have to say, in the winter especially, getting enough fluids, I feel, is harder because we're not naturally thirsty, Mm. right? And so to watch that, to make sure your body is well protected from the cold and to move gently uh, and support it, I think those are and, and things at any time. Well, and they sound so simple, right? And well, then us, they're free. <laughs> yeah. They're available to us 24-7, yeah. right? But I know I I've, I've fill a pitcher, excuse me, every morning. That's part of my morning routine. And it is every morning, it's kind of like, okay, today's the day. I'm going to drink this whole thing, <laughs> right? And, and it's like every morning I say that to myself, okay, we're going to find some additional tactics tricks, whatever, to drink this whole pitcher. And I'm still still aspiring to that case. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're moving in that direction. And, you know, often we're so yeah, strict, almost mean to ourselves, you know, and, and we don't see what we have changed and what we're doing mm. better. That's a good point. I definitely drink more water than I used to. Yep. See. Right. So we're still aspiring. Well, thank you so much for being here. And I love this. And uh, it's been very inspiring. And I want to learn more. I can't wait to the de- our, our demonstration in February. Yeah, I'm looking forward class. to that. That's going to be so much fun. I just encourage our listeners to check out goodfatlife.com. And uh, Gisela's information will be there as well. So on that, on that happy note, thank you again for being here. Yes, I encourage people to check out uh, Gisela Bosch. Well, it'll be in our show notes how to get how to get in touch with her. And it's one of my one of my just nuance. I just drop as with a little nerves, but it's all it's all good, right? So go out and live your good past life.